Good morning, Panther sports fans. This is Coach Craig Drilling. I'm here with your weekly sports report. There's a lot to get to, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, last Monday, the Panthers tennis team traveled to Fowler Park to take on Pinecrest Academy. John Benny recorded his second win of the year. Congratulations, John. On Thursday, the Panther tennis team once again traveled to Mount Bethel. Uh, Aiden Hurtado remained unbeaten on the year with a win at one singles, while Luke Benny was also victorious at two singles. The doubles tandem of Jaden Moore and Ramona Angona also outlasted their opponents for the victory. Congratulations to all. On Friday, the varsity soccer team traveled to Pinecrest Academy and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the perennial powerhouse Paladins. Pinecrest defeated Brandon Hall 2-1. to one. Mickey Botas scored the lone Panther goal that was assisted by Keon Bizzell. We have another busy week this week on deck for Panther Nation. Back to you. Hello and good afternoon from the Brandon Hall Art Room. I'm always excited to talk about student artists. And today with us, we have Ramona Angora. Ramona has just completed a beautiful low relief sculpture based on the whimsical artist, Paul Clay. Ramona, tell us a little bit about your process. The materials are very basic, string and cut cardboard. I was trying to balance out the lines and shapes and the design. After gluing everything down, I covered it on foam and painted on um, in the same. What a nice design. The results are great. It really looks like molten metal. Nice job. What part of the design would you say that you enjoy doing most? Probably making the man of the figure out of the string. And how long, how many class sessions would you say it took you from idea to completion? About six, six class sessions. Yeah. Thanks Ramona for sharing with us. And join us next time on our Featured Artist Edition. Thanks. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Mr. Ryder and I'm going to share with you the schedule and some important information about our virtual learning next week, March 29th to April 2nd, 2021. We will use Google Meet for our virtual classes and office hours. Teachers will send Google Meet links and calendar invites to students for the virtual classes and required office hours. Office hours are every day in the afternoons and on Friday mornings as well. The schedule next week is Monday and Wednesday, an A day, periods one through four, with office hours in the afternoon, and then Tuesday and Thursday is a B day with periods five through eight meeting, again, office hours in the afternoon. On Friday, we have required office hours in the morning, and then in the afternoon by teacher appointment or student request, and this is a great opportunity for a final check-in on assignments, projects, etc., before we move to spring break the following week. A friendly reminder about some virtual learning expectations for students and teachers in terms of participation and video and audio settings and communications around academic work. It's definitely a team effort and a big thank you to our teachers and students for helping make virtual learning a success next week. Take care. Hola, buenos dias. Yo soy Senior Strickland. There will be an interest meeting on Thursday, March 25th at four o'clock for students and parents that are interested in the Ecuador trip. It will be virtual, so all you need to do is follow the link that is shared with the school newsletter to sign up that you are interested in the trip, and then I will communicate and send out the virtual meeting link for Thursday, March 25th at 4 p.m. The meeting should not take more than 30 minutes. 
and then you will be able to sign up. Adios!